a Sussex printing firm's director has been jailed for three years after being convicted of bribing public officials in Africa to win business contracts. Smith and Usman Ltd gave £400,000 in backhanders to officials in Kenya and Mauritania for deals worth £2.26 million to make ballot papers. Sales and Marketing Director Nicola Smith, 43, was jailed following an earlier trial at Southwark Crown Court. His father, Chairman Christopher Smith, received an 18-month suspended term. The 72-year-old, who was convicted of two counts of corruptly agreeing to make payments, was told he would have to carry out 250 hours of unpaid work and given a three-month curfew. His son was found guilty of three counts of the same charge. Both men were also disqualified from being company directors for six years, and have resigned from the company. Moral Turpitude Smith and Usman, based in Eastbourne, which specializes in security documents such as ballot papers and certificates, was also convicted of the same three offenses and will be sentenced in October. The hearing will also deal with confiscation proceedings against the company and the individuals. It is the first time a British company has been found guilty of bribing foreign agents, and follows an investigation by the Serious Fraud Office, SFO. It targeted Kenya just after the 2007 political and humanitarian crisis, which was sparked by election malpractice and cost 1,300 lives and displaced 600,000 people. Judge David Higgins said the case bore the marks of tragedy, and the pair were guilty of a premeditated, pre planned, sophisticated and very serious crime. In short, your behavior was cynical, deplorable, and deeply antisocial and suggests, at least in this context, moral turpitude, he said. The company's international sales manager, Timothy Forrester, 57, was acquitted of three counts of making corrupt payments, while sales agent Abdiraman Omar, 38, was cleared of one count of corruptly agreeing to make payments in relation to a contract in Somaliland. Ceramic Poppies In a statement following the sentencing, the company said it fully accepted accountability for the actions of its directors and apologized unreservedly. It said it had co-operated fully with the SFO throughout its investigation. During this period we have learned many lessons and as a result have developed industry-leading, anti-bribery and corruption management processes. Smith and Usman provided the certificates of authenticity for customers who bought the ceramic poppies from the Tower of London that made up the blood-swept lands and seas of red installation last year.